Hello guys, Anja here and as you can see I have the Moto G4 Plus and Xiaomi Mi 3 over here with me and in this video we are going to do a charging test comparison between turbo charger and quick charge 2.0 so the moto g4 plus supports turbo charging which can go up to 12 volts and 2.1 amperes which is quite high and quick charge 2.0 is being done on the mi3 so yes mi3 is officially supported with quick charge 2.0 whereas turbo charging is supported on this and i'm going to connect this turbo charger to the moto g4 plus and quick charge 2.0 charger to the mi3 and the MI3 has 1% battery whereas the Moto G4 Plus also has 1% battery. I'll just unlock the device. So let's start the test and I have the my timer over here also. Let's start it and I'll connect quick charge 2.0. Then I'll collect the turbo charger. And uh, if you want to make sure that turbo charging is connected then it will say turbo power connected. Whereas I know that quick charge 2.0 is connected over here. And I have started the timer also and we'll keep checking the power or how much it is charged in between and I'll keep both the devices running. I will not use them but I will keep them on because we need to check the standby time and everything like that. So I'll just clear everything once. So it's been 15 minutes and the charging that is done on Moto G4 Plus is 20%. Whereas MI3 it charged up to only 14%. So guys it's been 1 hour and 46 minutes now and the Moto G4 it charged up to 94% whereas the MI3 with quick charge 2.0 it charged up to 85%. 3000 mAh of battery is present on the Moto G4 Plus whereas 3000 mAh battery is present on the MI3 also. And it is saying 7 minutes until full charge and on the MI3 it is saying 18 minutes to full charge. So let's wait and see how much time will it take to go to 100%. So guys it's been 2 hours and 7 minutes now. So Moto G4 is charged to 99%. MI3 is charged up to 92%. So there you have it, turbo charging is a little bit fast as compared to quick charge 2.0 but there is not a huge improvement when it comes to charging the devices and the devices are surely taking very long time to go from 90% to 100% and that's quite obvious and when it comes to turbo charging it surely will charge your device quicker from 0 to 50 or 60% as compared to quick charge 2.0 but when it comes to 0 to 100 turbo charging and quick charge 2.0 are almost identical so let's look at the charges which i was using to charge the devices so this is the quick charge 2.0 which has output of 5 volt 2 amperes or 9 volts and 2 amperes or 12 volts and 1.5 amperes this is the maximum output so it's maximum of 18 watts but when it comes to turbo power or the turbo charger the output maximum output is 12 volts and 2.15 amperes that goes up to 25 watts and that is the reason why turbo charging is a little bit faster as compared to quick charge 2.0 when it comes to charging your device from 0% to 60 to 70%. So this is pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button because yes, many more videos like this are going to come real soon. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.